People in the first world, people in the Western world, get an immense amount of pleasure from movies, television shows, music, and books. You take all those pleasures and the time we spend on them, and it's way more than all other pleasures put together. But recently, we've had a revolution in how we can experience these pleasures. So this is my study at home. This is my computer. And on this computer, I can watch thousands, probably millions of movies. Virtually any movie I could think of, I could watch for a small fee. Same with television shows. Same with music. I could listen to any song I could think of. I could type it in, and there it will come up on Spotify or YouTube or iTunes. Um, for books, if I want a book, I could just type it in my iPad, and then I have the book. If my 12-year-old self knew that in the future I'd be, he'd be doing this, he would say, wow, that's amazing. You must be very happy. The puzzle is, I'm actually not very happy. In fact, I often sit on my computer at night, faced with a staggering bounty of potential pleasure, and I check my email, and I look myself up on Google. <laughs> and, you know, OK, so, so maybe you say, this is, you know, I'm just autobiography. You're, you're, I'm weird, fine. Um, but it's not just me. So this is a graph of happiness, United States, from 46 to 2006. As you could imagine, a lot has happened there. Some world wars, recessions, stock market booms, transformations in the role of women and treatment of, of African Americans and, and, and homosexuals. And among all of these changes, what I'm talking about, the, the increase in easy access to, to all of these pleasures. So around that period, we get the, the, the founding of, of, of Google, of Netflix, and of iTunes. And here's how it affected our happiness. Not at all. So that's kind of a puzzle. And, and so one way to frame the puzzle is we now can experience the pleasures, some of the pleasures we most enjoy, and we have an enormous amount of choice, and we have little or no effort. And I think that the reason why this doesn't give us as much pleasure as we might want is because there are two problems with this situation. One is there's an enormous amount of choice, and the second is there's little or no effort. <laughs>